Hello Aries, this is going to be your June reading. We're going to get into family, love, money. Um, I did want to let you guys know that the website is available below for any personal readings you'd like to book or any other services you may be interested in. Right. I will also be doing your summer reading here soon. So um, also let me know if you would like... Um, Also, let me know if you would like the singles reading that I'm going to be doing for some of the signs. So, yeah, let me know if you want a singles reading for Aries. Showing up in full Aries in love, Emperor. Um, standing your ground is what I hear for for you, Aries. I feel like there's a um, situation where you've been standing your ground, but also being very secure in your relationships, uh, being very secure and being single. If you're be if you're single, staying firm on that. You may have just released a relationship or a partner, so you are not dealing with them and you're serious about it from you. Or if you're in a relationship, you're very grounded and solid in that as well. Standing your ground is something I'm also hearing as well. You have the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck, so that's good. Moving past any conflicts that you were experiencing. I know there was a lot of heavy energy for Aries um, last month and you guys really like that uh third party spread that i did for aries so i mean a lot of you might have been in third party relationships because that that video got uh, a good bit of views so i'm thinking maybe um you know maybe you guys are leaving that type of relationship situation that's good though it's really good okay so some anxiety over offers at work um endings but also good things coming you're getting a lot of recognition at your job i already felt like for some of you manifesting what it was that you wanted with your job promotion for some of you some of you could be ending uh, a job okay that is a possibility there but it'll be good it's good good energy for you some of you are having anxiety um over money or over the stability of money growing money offers in money maybe you're not getting the offer that you want for a job or you're worried about how much they're going to offer you for a job but you are going to have the opportunity to grow your finances and stability some of you are stressed over a marriage okay all right yeah that's a higher fit here some of you can be dealing with the taurus capricorn uh aquarius or scorpio eight of swords um, so for family, I feel like for you guys, the, the theme around family, honestly, with the, I mean, family seems pretty solid. The Hierophant is a good, um, a good, a good card to represent family, but I really feel like, um, things are going better with family. I feel like with family, you're taking a very, um, laissez-faire approach if it doesn't apply to you if you're not really involved in it, any family drama or anything like that you're kind of staying away from that um you are maybe coming out of an issue with family members therefore you're kind of just uh your family looks solid that's kind of what i want to say like if there was any issues before with family i feel like it's not a big issue now okay um you're coming out of that period all right any any arguments that you may have had I feel like you, you're coming into this month, uh, Aries, with a new confidence. Uh, I can definitely see that here. Can I get one more for the Emperor? Five of Pentacles. So, yeah, somebody you left out in the cold and you're sticking firm with it, okay? Could be a Pisces um, or somebody that was just creating this confusion in your life and you got rid of that energy. Walking through the Wheel of Fortune and you're staying stag you're staying strong on that or somebody may be leaving you out in the cold but either way there is a level up coming with love so there could be a new relationship or the relationship that you're in could be renewed um because you are standing firm on this new energy for those of you that may have been in the third party situation that is what i'm seeing as well but some of you are just choosing to remain single just choosing to remain in your on your own energy right now which is good okay i do feel like there's some anxiety around work though okay there's anxiety around work 
could be some anxiety around children. Some of you could be a question of if a child is yours or somebody. There could be issues with paternity. Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? Page of Cups. Yeah, it could be work, though. I feel like it's a work offer. It'll be good, though. If you're worried about work coming in or money or how much money you're going to get for something, I feel, I feel like it'll be good. All right? You just may have to do some negotiations and stand firm with that newfound confidence that some of you are coming in now that you got that confusion out of your life. All right? So let's go on to your love reading and see how your relationship is with your partner. Uh, again, if you want a singles Aries reading, let me know. Post those for each sign if they are requested, okay? All right. Make sure you like and comment on this video. That's the best way to support my channel. Make sure others see it. And, you know, help your girl out. Appreciate that. Aries. What's going on with Aries and their partner? Aries. What's going on with Aries? Some of y'all, I'm not even gonna lie, I just feel like I need to say this. Some of y'all might be acting a little childish this month, too. Vindictive is uh, watch that. That page of cups has the theme, okay? Because we are in kind of Gemini right now, so Aries, you would be the side of Gemini that can be the jokester, the side of Gemini that can be childish and childlike, so not trying to like come down on you because that energy can be very relieving in a lot of situations when you need it but just watch that energy because you don't want it to mess with any opportunities especially as far as like i don't want to say karma because karma is what it is but you know like messing up any opportunities for yourself focus on the wrong things especially like past relationships and things that don't really apply to you anymore all right let it go three Woo. Y'all was like, get out of my business, okay, Harley? All right, I'm going to stay out of your business. You have to stand between the wands card that fell out here. Some of y'all, it's a Sagittarius female or a Leo uh, Aries, another Aries female. That's significant for some of you Aries out there. Maybe the Aries man, if you're watching this for an Aries male cross watcher. All right. Aries. Aries and their partner. Aries and their partner. All right, Aries, you're going to be on the left. Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Knight of Wands, a Sagittarius, Leo, or uh, Aries. Could be female for the cross watcher. There could be a, uh, Ari a fire sign female watching this for an Aries man. Aries man could be kind of childish this month. Just saying. I'm not trying to point any fingers. Ace of Wands, Six of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. All right. So I feel like the yeah, <laughs> yeah, Aries, y'all are y'all are not playing. Okay. I, yeah. You're not talking to this person. You walked away from this person, Aries. They don't care though. They're still watching you. They still want you. Huh. <sighs> All right, six of pentacles, nine of swords. Okay, so whoever this person is um, over here, Aries, um, it could be a fire sign, could be a Pisces, could be any sign as it is general. If you need a personal reading, definitely hit me up. Just, if you have a quick question, hit me up on Instago or check the test message option below in the description for a quick question. But um, it looks like here... <laughs> This person doesn't care that you've walked away from them because you're showing as the Eight of Cups in the past, you've walked away from them or they've walked away from you. you they you, they don't care. They still want this with you. Ten of Pentacles, they still want a new relationship with you. They still want this to go, to go off without a hitch, okay? They may not be communicating with you. I feel like it's you not communicating with them, Aries, but you're also thinking about them, okay? You're reminiscing about them. You're thinking about them. It could be a... Uh, 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 what am I trying to say? A co-parent, somebody you co-parent with, but it could be somebody you've been with them for a long period of time since childhood, but it's a, it's a situation where you are thinking about them, okay? Um, you're not communicating with them, though. I feel like you're closed off, or they could be being closed off, but I feel like it's you. 
you're you're also stalling with the hangman here you've you've kind of hung this up for the time being but i don't see the energy of really walking away i mean the ten of swords is here and the eight of cups so is like when you're you're like what do you mean you don't see us walking away i mean the six of pentacles is here so there could be a reconciliation all right just because the Ten of Swords is here doesn't mean you're always walking away. The Ten of Swords could mean that you're done with the bullshit in the relationship and now maybe it's a good time for you guys. You have the Wheel of Fortune here. Um, but I feel like you're very doubtful about this relationship, Aries. And I mean, I'm not trying to tell you you're not going to walk away. You could just be like, hey, you know, I don't want to beef with you, but I don't want to be with you. That's very much, you could, it could be a reconciliation in that way. Like, okay. Um, I don't want to be angry with you. I like having you around as a friend, but hey, we're not going to work in a relationship. It could be that type of situation. I'm not saying that you're going to go back and be with this person. If you're done, you're done. They uh, see the judgment card here. So either they, uh, you made a final decision on them to walk away, I feel like, or they made a final decision to walk away from you. But I really, again, Aries, I'm getting the, you're kind of done with it. They're not. Um, the Page of Swords is here, so they may be doubting that you would ever speak to them again. They may also be watching you, stalking you, gathering information about you, etc., etc. The Nine of Swords is here, so they are heavily um, anxious about the situation, okay? Thinking about it a lot, not understanding. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a person I feel like that may not be used to people walking away from them. They may not be used to rejection. So maybe that's why they just can't understand or because you guys have this potential here you guys really did make each other happy or things were good or maybe because you were working on things and then you abruptly walked away i don't know could be that or it could be because of this nine of wands it's uh you come in and out it's it's an up and down type of situation so they have every right to still have faith in it because every time you say you walked away you, you come back or vice versa okay so this is pretty cut and dry um let me clarify the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? The Six of Pentacles. Five of Swords. And it was already at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like there's going to be a reconciliation. Or it could be a uh, reconciliation and more conflict. Seeing as the Nine of Wands is here. Because you guys seem to go back and forth. One more for the Six of Pentacles. One more for the Six of Pentacles, please. Seven of Cups, Five of Cups. So I don't know. Don't be don't be so quick to count this person out, Aries. I feel like there may be some more opportunities with this person. Okay, for some of you out there, I'm not saying everybody is. Some of you are really done here with this Ten of Swords, but the Six of Pentacles. You may be looking into other options as how they can play a role in your life. Okay, it could you just you may want to actually salvage this relationship. It may not be a relationship that you really fully wanted to walk away from. Maybe you guys have good conversations. Maybe this person does make you happy. Okay, this person could be better off with friends with benefits, but please remember that they want this. So remember that when you're dealing with this person for some of you out there, okay? Um, now, yeah, and if it is a relationship that you feel like salvaging, um, if it is a long-standing relationship and maybe you guys just aren't speaking together right now, you're moved out of separate houses, you're not talking even if you're living together, could be that type of situation. I feel like there will be some type of give and take happening, some type of reconciliation. Okay, so if you're not fully walking away, you could just be done with the BS. Like, look, I've had enough of it. Or for some of you out there, you had to go take care of business elsewhere. This could be another relationship that you had to deal with. And now that you've finished all your swords with that other relationship, you're ready to open up the opportunities with this person that you had to walk away with while you got your crap together. Okay, that is a, a situation as well that could be going on. All right, so let's pull some advice for you, Aries, and then we'll go ahead and shut down the video, right? Thank you so much for watching this far if you have. And thank you for your likes and comments. Those are very much appreciated. Can I get one card of advice for Aries, please, for June? One card of advice, please, for Aries for June. Aries for June. One card of advice for Aries for June. Aries for June. Two. Queen of Wands. That was wasn't that already in your one of your spreads or no? Maybe that was the one I did before. 
you had the Queen of Wands at some point though. This was in work. This was in work, right? Yeah, this was in your work section. This was here. So definitely a big emphasis on work. But there's also a fire sign female for some of you Aries out there. That's significant. A Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Um, yeah, and this came, yeah, this came up for love too. Yeah, so some of you are dealing with an Aries, uh, Sagittarius, or Leo female. That's significant. You may need to reach out to this person on a friendship level. There may be a reconciliation with this person, Six of Wands. Um, this person may also help you uh, get what you want out of your work. Okay, um, this could be a sister, friend, lover. But you may also need to step into Queen of Wands energy. It's not hard for Leos, I um, mean, for Aries to step into. This is a, considered a Leo energy, in my opinion. Um, but it's not hard for Aries to step into this energy. Sagittarius, sometimes it can be a little hard. Um, but for the Aries, it's not. Because remember, the sun is exalted in Aries. Um, or, well, it's, it's really good in Aries. The sun loves to be in Aries. I, I'll use that word instead. Because I know a lot of people don't always know those terms. But the sun loves to be in Aries. Even though it loves to be in Leo, it's dignified in Leo. It's exalted, raised to the highest level in Aries. So um, it's not hard for you to step into this energy. Okay, so go ahead, kick ass. Don't be afraid. Queen of Wands, she's been through it. She's earned her stripes. So nobody's questioning your um, authority here. Nobody's questioning your abilities. Only person that would be doing that is the Queen of Wands herself. And why would she? She's the Queen of Wands, right? All right, so if you need to talk to a Queen of Wands person for that energy or reconcile with the Queen of Wands energy, that may be the theme for this June, okay? So I love you guys. Aries, thank you so much for watching. Have a great June. I'll see you for the mid-June. Bye.